So I'm just about to go and tell Georgie what we're doing for Valentine's Day. Yep, that's right, I'm taking you back to Valentine's Day. Me and Georgie don't normally do presents for Valentine's Day, but this year it fell on a Saturday, so we thought we'd make the most of it and do something. Uh, so I recorded what we did, and I've decided to take a look at the footage and make a video from it. About two days before we did this thing, I decided to reveal to Georgie what we were doing. We are going on an alpaca trek. <laughs> <laughs> How exciting! It's 10 a.m. in the morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, for two hours, so then we got the rest of the day by the coast. Thank you for booking a trek with Alpaca Annie. We are very much looking forward to your visit and I hope you enjoy the experience. Suitable clothing for this season and weather is essential, warm and waterproof. Your trek with your alpaca is on open farmland and can be chilly if it's windy. Anyway, yeah. We're going on an alpaca Saturday the 14th trek. of February, 10 a.m. Alpaca trek. You happy? <laughs> you don't. Really. So she kind of guessed what we were doing because we'd tried to book an alpaca trek recently and it was something she really wanted to do but I'd managed to get it booked in for Valentine's Day so that was the surprise. Um, if you're thinking of going on, on an alpaca trek I highly recommend Alpaca Annie which was the place we went to. They are in Romney Marsh in Kent. Uh, they were great from the time I booked, phoned up and booked. They sent me an email the same day confirming it. They sent me a letter with information about what we should wear and what we should expect on the day which was what I was just reading to Georgie um, yeah they're great uh, if you don't know what an alpaca trek is it's basically taking an alpaca for a walk um, if you don't know what an alpaca is I suggest you keep watching morning we're going on our alpaca trek today it's for Valentine's Day and Georgie is still getting ready we're a bit late at the moment morning you excited yeah we need to leave now Makeup. Those alpacas will care about that. Well, they will. Mm, it's very important. We've got about an hour drive and then going to Romney Marsh. It's Alpaca Annie. And we will arrive at the shop and then they'll tell us where to go. And then we'll walk some alpacas, I suppose. Love is so we're on our way now, um, almost there, about 10 minutes away. I think we're going to make it there just on time. We're going to walk out my house. I don't know if I'm being foolish. I don't know if I'm being kind of wise. But there's something that I must believe in And it's there when I look in your eyes Love is in the air Love is in the air We're here. We're all togged up. You'd like to explain your outfit, Georgie? Well, I'm wearing regatta and a wrap. And then these yeah. ski salopettes. Nice, waterproof. And then on your feet? Muck Boot Company. Muck Boot Company. Best muck boots or boots in general in the world. Keep your feet warm to like minus 40. Got a lot of cracks, see? But still laminate in the water because there's a neoprene lining. So I've got a coat Georgie got me from eBay. It's sort of my walking coat. And then I've got waterproof trousers, just a thin layer, but they're over my jeans. And then walking boots. And I don't don't mind getting any of it muddy, so. And the coat, 
was like three pounds. Three pound coat. Including postage and packaging. So yes, that's what we were wearing. We were very pleased with ourselves because we were dressed for all weather possibilities. Um, especially after seeing the other people that were coming on the trek with us because they weren't dressed uh, so appropriately. They were dressed very nice, but more appropriate for maybe a lunch at a restaurant rather than taking a farm animal for a walk through some muddy fields. So, um, Georgie, do you think you could give us a weather report for today? Weather report for today? Right, well, looking at the sky, what I'd say yeah. is we're going to start off the day a little bit gloomy, a little bit spitty, and then um, that like towards the afternoon probably when we finished our trek i don't think it'll come out during the trek right the sun is gonna start the sun's out. gonna come out yeah, yeah but after the trek but probably after the trek wow Interesting, huh? She's pretty accurate at guessing the weather. Anyway, next we went and met our alpacas. We had a talk about them. We were told all sorts of facts and safety stuff about the trek. And it was very interesting. I, I can't remember much about it now, but one thing we were told is that they weren't the biggest fans of being petted, which was a shame because they're so fluffy and that's all you want to do. But all the same, it was lovely and, and you could still pet them with the back of your hand. They didn't mind that. It was then time for us to get paired up with our alpacas. Georgie got paired up with one called Jim because she quickly volunteered to look after him as he was very vocal, making lots of weird sounds. There it is, that sound there, yep. He kept making that throughout the talk and Georgie found that very cute so wanted to look after him. And then I automatically got put with his best mate Dave because they had to walk together. We actually had a very strong bond. As you can see, yep, I've got perfect control over him. Anyway, it was time for us to start our alpaca trek. So this is an alpaca trek for Just Josh in TV. I think you were wrong about the weather forecast, George. Well, no, you did say it would rain a bit. I did say it would rain a bit. So, when I said I was going on an alpaca trek, nearly every person asked me if don't they spit. We found out that they only spit at each other. So, if you get spat at, it's because you got in the way. Yeah. Rain started to stop now. The sun started to come out. Dave's pleased. Hi, Dave. Dave. That was grass. It yeah, might have grass. That's it. Dave, go on, Dave. Chill out, Dave. Go on, Dave. Go on, Dave. 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 Go on, Dave. Dave, Dave. Oh, Dave. So we're back. We're back. Did you enjoy it? I loved it. <laughs> Got a pot of carrots to feed the. Uh, the rest of the rest of us. The ones that couldn't come out. The fitches. Oh. Skinny face. Other than Dave, I've found my favourite. Magic. Hello, magic. Eh? So it's only a sliver. You're getting fussy now. So we're all done. Done our alpaca trick. And Good. I got a present because Jim loved me so much. He bought me a rose. Jim bought her a rose. Yeah. Dave didn't get me a rose. Dave didn't get Josh anything. And we got a certificate. Dynamo Dave and Jolly Jim on it. Yeah, there are two alpacas. There you are. So it was successful, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. We came dressed appropriately. We were the best dressed yeah. in terms of weather wise. Some people didn't dress as well. Some were best dressed but for different occasions. Oh yeah. 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 You enjoyed it? I loved it. Yeah, it was good. It was yeah. a bit cold, but it was we've decided we're probably gonna buy a llama. We met a few llamas. Llamas apparently are more friendly. Um 
alpacas are more for their wool. Yeah, and we don't need any wool. We don't need wool. No. But we also don't need a friendly llama. We like a cuddle though. I do like a cuddle. Mm. So, yeah, it's good. Good, <laughs> successful. Really good. Successful alpaca trek. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Stop watching the other people and pay attention. <laughs> Bye bye. Bye bye. So that was a very brief look at the alpaca trek that we did and uh, I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. If you fancy going on an alpaca trek yourself, check out the link in the description below and there's a, it will take you to their website or you can click on the link above and it should also take you there. If you fancy going on one, check out Groupon first because they sometimes have deals on there that you can get cheaper alpaca treks, so worth checking that out. Also, if you enjoyed this video, you can see my last video here, which is about YouTube. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, which I would greatly appreciate, you can click the subscription link, which is here. And also, if you want to see more of Georgie, she has decided to make a video herself. So she's done it about her animals on her farm small holding thing that she has. And it's, it's a great video. It's her first one. And I've put a link to that here. So please check that out as well. But for now, I will see you next time. Bye bye. Bye 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 b